It may be recommended we eat at least two portions of fish a week for a healthy, balanced diet. However, what we rarely know is how our fish is being caught and where it has come from. The Environmental Justice Foundation's investigation focused on suppliers such as London's Billingsgate Fish Market, where we found two snapper species commonly known as Denton, marked as coming from West Africa. Denton is caught by trawling, which is one of the most destructive and wasteful fishing methods due to the indiscriminate capture of non-target marine life in the trawl nets. Trawling obliterates the seabed habitats that fish depend on to breed and wipes out juveniles crucially needed to replenish fish populations. Endangered marine life is constantly entangled with the rest of the catch, up to 90% of which is considered worthless and is simply shoveled back into the sea, dying or dead. Crucially, many of the trawlers fishing in West Africa are doing so illegally and are in fact stealing essential food and income from some of the world's poorest people. Illegal fishing activities are stealing an estimated 1,000 million US dollars every year from African countries alone. This illegal, unreported and unregulated or pirate fishing has been implicated as one of the most serious threats to the future of world fisheries. It may be difficult to believe, but it's currently estimated that global fish stocks could completely collapse by 2048 and pirate fishing is destroying any chances of sustainability. Their unscrupulous activities and callous disregard for fishery laws is precipitating a humanitarian and environmental disaster. One of the countries worst affected by IU fishing is Guinea in West Africa. In 2006, the Environmental Justice Foundation investigated 104 vessels, over half of which were either engaged in or linked to IU fishing activities. A range of IU practices were documented, including vessels fishing without a license, vessels fishing in the 12-mile zone reserved for local traditional fishermen, the illegal transferring of fish between fishing vessels, and refrigerated cargo ships, the deliberate hiding of identities, and more than one vessel pretending to be a single ship. The Environmental Justice Foundation also documented extremely unsafe hygiene conditions on many of the IUU fishing vessels. This unhygienic, illegally caught fish is mixed with legal catches and then enters the EU marketplace through infamous ports of convenience like Las Palmas and the Canary Islands. Once laundered into the legitimate market, stolen fish continue their journey to the UK unchecked, compromising the health and safety of end consumers. Failure to eradicate IUU fishing will result in a rapidly deteriorating situation, including declines in commercial catches and marine biodiversity, as well as destroying livelihoods in some of the world's poorest nations. Action must be taken now to protect the European public from potential health impacts and from unwittingly contributing to the devastating impacts of IUU fishing.